The Design for Inclusion course gave me a vocabulary for structures and situations that are very complex and therefore sometimes hard to talk about. I now feel that I can address them and speak up in a whole different way. Well, aside from what I would call fundamentally changing the way I think, I would say that the course really helped me to see that as companies become more global and as brands try to create more relatable and engaging experiences for consumers, that nowadays companies can't afford not to be more inclusive. Most of us are designers of our own lives. We have the power to change things and by designing for inclusion help others become designers as well. For everyone that wants to live in a world where people are seen as people and not objects, labour or tools, this is a programme to consider. For the braggy ones or the quiet ones, the leaders or the followers, this is a crucial course to understanding the world we share. We all have such different stories and backgrounds and by creating this common ground and understanding, we could level with one another and have truly constructive discussions without the blaming and shaming, which is what I feel was happening prior to this course. I'm really proud of myself and I'm really happy that I've learned everything that I've learned. I'm at the same time very terrified because creating things and creating experiences, um, designing um, for other people, I have a great responsibility to, to be inclusive. Marketing and advertising has the frequency, subtlety, and reach to change the world for the better, and inclusion is a part of that. Thinking of what you create as what you bring into the world, I'm committed to ensuring that what I create is not contributing to these power structures of oppression. I commit to educate myself, and I commit to keep asking big questions. I commit to making better products, services, and experiences for consumers. And if I can't make a solution that's more inclusive, then the least I can do is make one that doesn't make the world any worse. I will ask myself, will this thing that I'm designing break down or uphold damaging structures? I really believe that we can design a society and a world that includes everyone. This is the first step towards a better future.